Guys, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy ham and Swiss omelet using that new Ninja Foodie Never Stick frying pan coming up. What's up guys, I'm CJ. Welcome to Cooking with CJ. We're gonna make an easy omelet using my new Never Stick Ninja Foodie pans. Well, one of the pans at least. <laughs> guys, these things, are, these things are really freaking cool. Um, I've already done, uh, you know, I did my initial look, first look video, I'll put a link for that right here. Showed you that you didn't need to use oil or butter or anything like that. These are truly non-stick cookware. But, caveat to that, I like butter flavor with my eggs. All right, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of butter into the pan. All right, you don't need to, but I'm going to because I like the flavor it gives. Okay, just for all the comments in the chat where they're like, ah, I didn't need butter oil, whatever. It doesn't. I just want to use it because I like the flavor. Okay, that's it. You know, I, I have my screen that I look at, you know, to make sure I'm kind of framed up. It's got this weird feeling that someone's looking at me, like watching it, watching me while. Dude, that's creepy. I hate that stupid thing. Anyway, it's gonna be in my bed at night. Anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so let's get over to um, let's get over to the the stove. All right. This uh, you know we're not using the Ninja Foodie Grill Station. We're not using the Ninja Station, guys. We're actually on the stove, and that's why I'm so excited to have these pots and pans with me. Ninja Foodie never stick, guys. I'm excited. All right. So I have just a little bit of ham left over from Thanksgiving. Uh, already sliced up. Got it warmed up. You know, we got some nice Swiss cheese. I like my omelets cheesy, so we're gonna put cheese on the inside, and we're gonna put a couple on the outside. All right, pretty simple, pretty easy recipe. Just want to show you what we could do with these pans. They're beautiful, gorgeous. The texture's awesome on them. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's get over to the stove and let's get this thing started. All right, we're gonna break these up. You want to make sure you break up that egg membranes in there, give it a good stir. Make sure you're hitting that spoon to the bottom of that bowl, really breaking it up, aerating it. It's the key to it. Okay, let's do this for about 30 seconds or so. Get it ready for the pan. All right, guys, we got the fire on, we got medium temperature. All right, so the key to doing this is getting on medium temp, all right? Really don't want to just burn through the omelet, all right? We want it to cook evenly, come up the temperature slowly, build those nice curds. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is get a knob of butter in there. It's about a teaspoon-ish. <laughs> I'm gonna get this all melted down. Guys, I like to cook my eggs in butter, all right? You don't have to do this. In fact, I think I might have put a little too much in there. So we'll go ahead and take, <laughs> take out a little bit. Uh, just go ahead. <laughs> that was a bit, bit too much butter. <laughs> so we want to heat this butter through real quick. We're bringing it up slowly in there. Okay, our butter is ready to go. Give this another quick whisk. You know, it's been sitting here for a hot second. We're just going to pour it in there. Nice and easy like. And this is a three egg omelet. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is just start pulling it in a little bit. Let the uncooked egg kind of fill in. Just slightly go around. You know, turn the pan a little bit, get some of that falling off. And you can see the non-sticks happening right here. I'm pulling it off the heat a little bit. And while it's kind of cooking in there, I'm just gonna add just a little pinch of salt, a little cracked black. We're gonna fold it, all right? So I'm gonna put our cheese in there. Okay, got some ham, good looking ham in there. It's already heated through, okay? All right, it's already cooked. I'm just gonna fold it over, that nice brownie in there. My family likes the eggs a little bit more well done. That's why I wanted to cook it like this, but it could be flipped sooner. So if you don't wanna have any brown on it like this, Knock yourself out. All right, we're gonna throw two more pieces on the top. Let those melt a little bit. Turn off the fire, let it chill out. We'll take a picture for the thumbnail and call it a day. Almost done, guys. Looking pretty dang good to me. Just gonna show you how it slides out. Just that easy. That right there is a fine looking omelet. All right, for this one, we gotta get the big dog knife out. <laughs> All right. All right, looking pretty good. Let's take a bite. All right, I do this because I love you guys. And that elf is still there freaking me out. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Man, that was good. 
That was really good. All right, guys. That was really good. All right. So, uh, look, it's an omelet. You guys can do it however you guys want. I like ham and Swiss. Now it is what it is. This video was more about the ninja foodie never stick cookware, but you know, might as well show you how to make a good omelet. All right. All right. So that's it for this one. Y'all want to get you a set of these ninja foodie never stick pans and pots. I'll put a link down below. Also links for the cutting boards and knives. Guys, we're getting into Christmas season here. It's time to start buying, right? My cookware, the foodie stuff, the cutting boards, the personalized cutting boards, all these things make amazing gifts, okay? So make sure you hit the links down below. It helps out the channel, helps me out, put good videos out, all right? Also, if you wanna become part of CJ's crew for real, hit that join button down there. It's very exciting to have that, be a part of it. A couple tiers in there, get you a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, get you little perks, little extras. Make sure you check it out, all right? And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up on the way out. Drop a comment how you'd like your omelets made. Personally, I'm a fan with chili and cheese. No beans in my chili though, all right? I will fight to the death on that one. All right, y'all, that's it for this week. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for cooking with CJ. Take care.